My name is uh, Dexter Khan. Uh, my title is uh, electronics engineer or electrical engineer. Uh, I work for Air 4452, which is electrical power systems. F-18 generators are, uh, are very important systems. Uh, there's two per jet, each carrying its own load depending on what side it's on. However, if there's a failure, then one of the generators has to pick up the load of the other. Other than the two generators, your only backup system is a battery. Every system requires power. If one of the generators go down, our mission is, is over and the airplane has to turn around. The technicians out in the field were constantly telling us that the silicon control rectifier was giving them headaches. Um, these are modules within the GCU that are, on paper, the highest reliability issue on the, on the GCU, generator converter unit, which is the worst degrader for non-mission capable hours on the F-18. That's true for both A through D uh, versions and EFG versions as well. Basically, the problem with the module is that it's not understood uh, very well. The generator has poor reliability. All the data suggests that the silicon control rectifiers is the main problem. This here is the silicon control rectifier dynamic counter tester. It's a quick and simple solution to find the problem before you do the main test to isolate the hard to find problems. Uh, this test system here will save a lot of time for the technicians. Right now they're spending approximately 17 hours per generator to diagnose the problem and RFI the unit. With the practice that we're developing now, we hope to cut that down drastically. We're assuring for the most part that good silicon control rectifiers are placed on F-18 generator converter units and that bad modules are not placed on the generator converter units. That pretty much assures to a, a large extent that the generator will be reliable. Not only are we increasing reliability, but we're also saving money as well as we we're able to find only the bad units and sent them in for, for repair. Currently, a lot of modules are being uh, sent for repair and there really is nothing wrong with them. There's been a wide shortage of CD SCR modules. And basically, ever since this first box, the prototype box has been developed, uh, we've been screening modules to be returned back to the fleet for use, keeping generators running, keeping aircraft running as well. Lessons learned from building a system like this is that basically from an engineering perspective, you sometimes have to look outside the box and maybe not look for such complex problems, but to find some more obvious problems. And that's basically what we, what we learned in development of this system.